Bouncer denies entry. Bouncer denies entry to overweight woman. Okay, let's see this. Let's see what I get out of this video. Gunner, do you ever stop talking? Because I swear to God, I thought you were in, like, the video I was watching. Like, the entire time. It was like, wow. and I was like, hold on. And then I, like, stopped and rewinded, and I missed so much. Because you were talking about, like, fat talking. people. Hmm. Shut your mad. hooey bluey patoon ass. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. Shut your. <laughs> You're fucking. <laughs> I can't even think of anything to say. You're fucking. Toonie balloony head ass. <laughs> Shut your butt. I have a joke for everyone. <laughs> They're trying to entertain the only 38 view people on the server. I have a joke to tell. Can I tell my joke? Is everybody listening? Yeah. It's pretty it's a pretty no. long one. I'm not listening. Shut up, Gunner. So there once was this wasp that lived in a jungle. This was, this was not your ordinary wasp, but though he was smart, phil philosophical even. One day he finally got fed up with his repetitive, insignificant life and decided that he would leave his hive, his family, his entire close knit wasp community, and he would go out into the world and make something of himself, just like the humans do. So the wasp enrolls in school and passes with flying colors. Remember, this is a very smart wasp. He gets his high school diploma in little under three years with a 4.0 GPA and all that snaz. After high school, believe it or not, the wasp get accept gets accepted to Harvard. Harvard! This too proves to be no challenge for our hero as he graduates in just two years. Again, a 4.0 GPA on the dean's list and all that snaz. Not to mention all the clubs and sports he was in the newspaper rowing, student government, and the fact that he was by far the most popular student on campus. Even his professors looked up to him. He goes on to get two PhDs, and when he finishes his education, the wasp faces a bit of a dilemma. How does he apply his knowledge now? Where does he go from here? He decides to try out politics. After all, he was popular throughout school, did well in Harvard government, so he runs for mayor and wins in a landslide. He greatly reforms the city, fixing virtually all its major problems. He runs for governor and again wins in a landslide. Two years later, the presidential election was coming up, and the, and the wasp decides he might as well go for it. Of course, he wins in the largest landslide in U.S. presidential history. His presidency goes exceedingly well. He is loved by all parties and has the highest approval ratings in history. He also finds the cures for cancer, AIDS, and broken hearts while in the White House. After eight years, yes, he was reelected. The time has come for him to leave office. Even his successor has saddened, is saddened by the Wasp's departure, but they all know it must be done. Back at his vacation home in California, his first day after leaving the office, the Wasp, the wasp looks back on his long and fruitful life. He realizes that he hasn't been back to his hive at all since the first day he left. He suddenly feels a twang of guilt as he realizes how much he misses his parents and his little brother. So he heads back to the hive looking more worn out than he remembers. He goes inside and greets his family who are overjoyed at the sight of him. He talks about how his life is gone as his family listens in wonderment. Eventually he decides he is thirsty. So he decides to visit the old watering hole he remembered. Once he gets there though... There's an extremely long line. He decides it's worth the wait. So he gets in line. One hour, two hours. This is the slowest moving line he's ever seen. Eventually, he calculates that it could be a few days before he gets to the front of the line. So he decides it's not worth it. He decides to go get some cider to drink instead. But what do you know? Another huge line of people waiting for cider. 
he remembers one <laughs> he remembers one other drinking area that had never had a long line fruit punch so he st- so he decides to go get punch he arrives and lo and behold there's no punch line <laughs> that was a pretty fucking good joke don't you think <laughs> I don't know why I started dying laughing.